Hi and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I am going to be doing a used book haul. So if you guys have been following me for a while you probably know that I go to a lot of used book sales and while at these sales I buy a lot of discounted books. So now I'm just going to get started with the books that I got. First we have Clearing the Bases by Aaron Barra, The Greatest Baseball Debates of the Last Century. I really enjoy baseball and reading about baseball so I hopefully will read this soon. Next, I have a, The Phillies Reader, a rich collection of baseball literature that chronicles the dramatic history of the Philadelphia Phillies. I live in the state of Pennsylvania, and I am the biggest Phillies fan, and I got this book because I really want to know more about the team's history. Next, I have The President, the Pope, and the Prime Minister, Three Who Changed the World by John O'Sullivan. I really am interested in history and politics, and two of my favorite political figures are in fact Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher, who are featured in this book, and I saw this and I thought it was really interesting and it would be a good political book for me to read. Now we have the Oxford Dictionary of Modern Quotations. Honestly, I'm not really sure what possessed me to buy this, but I thought it looked really interesting and it's the kind of thing that you don't really read but you kind of go through from time to time and just kind of browse through it and I thought it looked interesting so I decided to buy it. Next we have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. You, as you guys probably know, Jane Eyre is my favorite book of all time and the different thing about this copy of Jane Eyre is that it is really little. Compared, I will show it to you side by side compared to a regular book. This is Jane Eyre compared to the size of a regular book so it is quite tiny and although I don't need any more copies of Jane Eyre, I thought it was absolutely adorable and I needed to have it. Next I have The House of the Seven Gables by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I read The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne when I was a freshman and I really enjoyed it and I've always wanted to pick up this book and a fun fact is I went to Massachusetts a few years ago and I actually got to visit the building that this book was based on and it was really fascinating and I've always wanted to read the book since I went there so hopefully I will get the chance to read this someday. Next I have In the Words of Ronald Reagan, The Wit, Wisdom, and Eternal Optimism of America's 40th President by Michael Reagan. As I previously said in this video I have an obsession with Ronald Reagan. It's bad but I love him so much and I just really wanted this book. No particular reason just kind of to page through it from time to time. Now one of my rules when I go to used book sales is that I always have to buy poetry books. I don't know why. I guess I just started really getting into poetry lately so whenever I see poetry books I kind of buy them. So I bought a few anthologies. The first of which is Emily Dickinson Selected Poems. We also have 100 Best Loved Poems. Great Poems and the selected poems of John Donne. Now although these are very little I just wanted them for my collection and I really am looking forward to browsing through these sometime. Now we have A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hosseini. I had to read Khaled Hosseini's other book The Kite Runner for summer reading this year and I really enjoyed it so I decided to pick up his next book because I want to see what he writes next. Now I have two books from Suzanne Colasanti and they are Keep Holding On and When It Happens. I have read I believe one other book by Suzanne Colasanti and she's kind of compared to Sarah Dessen and her books aren't amazing but they're light fun fluffy reads and I will probably get around to these sometime during the next summer. And last but not least we have yet another copy of Jane Eyre. And I know what you guys are thinking, Katie, you don't need any more copies of Jane Eyre, which is probably true. But what struck me about this one is that it is extremely old. So I went to look at the date and this book was actually made in 1890. So this book is over 120 years old. It is quite worn. I think there is possibly a burn on this book. It is a very interesting copy and I had to have it. So if you guys have read any of these books, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you again soon.